This is a Swedish steel Japanese made razor. And I'm going to set the bevel on this 1000 Great King and finish on this Nakayama Kita. Set the Nakayama side for a minute. These are one directional strokes. I actually lift the razor up on the return stroke. Okay, I believe that's a set bevel. And just to check it out, I have a microscope. Okay, and I'll switch the view over to the um, computer. This is the bevel, and that's the very edge. And you can see, oops, I just moved the razor. Um, let me get back into position. Okay. You can see how the scratches continue right up to the very edge of the razor. That's a spot of water on the blade. It reflects the light differently like that. But this is a, what I consider to be a fully set bevel. I'll take a photo of that. So now I can go on to my finishing stone. And I'll put aside the king. It's a nice mild color, relatively hard kita. And I'm going to raise a slurry using a worn out number 600 diamond atoma plate. So that's 10 strokes. Okay, that should have had some effect on the razor. So we'll flip it up here to the So I have a switch on my uh, microscope here that switches the view from the microscope to the computer screen and you can see that there are just a few remnants of the um, 1000 grit scratches there focus in and out so this is after about 15 16 strokes on the Kita and I'm going to put another uh, set of strokes on this blade. I use the same slurry.
So that was another 21 strokes. Okay, and here's how the edge looks now. There's a, a few deeper scratches there. I take a photo. But in general, the edge is looking nice. This is before stropping and the scratches have really thinned out a lot so next thing to do is to strop it and uh, do an HHT and then a, a shaving test but that's a quick study on this key to, this is number 36 it's on a wooden base this wooden base probably goes back to the 70s or 80s and this was a, a barber home. I bought it from a barber shop in Japan.